four five three, three on, on one watch, one watch four five yeah, six so. at the Huskies Pro. I mean, that's an excellent yeah. time for him. And and look, it's just the, it's going to come down to the medical for him, without question. Without question, he had the most impressive throwing day at the combine, without a doubt. And the ball just came out of his hands in a way that it didn't come out of the hands of anybody else. That's and and I say that you know pounding the table for JJ McCarthy is as I do every second I get. <laughs> Um, you know how I feel about him. Mm-hmm. But I, I, I'll shoot you straight. When Penix was working out at the combine, I'm like, that guy right there has a hose. And not just that, just throws a, a pretty ball. Like it's an NFL film spiral out of his hand every single time. It didn't come out poorly once. Michael Penix has just completed his pro day a few days ago, and there's been rumors about what team he will end up on. And in this video, I want to break down why the Raiders are setting up the absolute perfect draft strategy this NFL draft season. Before we get into the video, I just want to say happy Easter. Hopefully you guys have a great day today. But man, this draft season is going to be intense. There are so many good quarterbacks, and I'm not going to lie to me, Michael Penix looked like the best one out of all the pro days we saw. Michael Penix looked like the most accurate, the most, you know, NFL ready, but also he showcased speed, athleticism, elusiveness, and number one overall, he showcased his health. The man is healthy. Now, the one risk factor when drafting a guy like Michael Penix is that itself, the the health. Now, he has suffered a bunch of injuries. You know, he's coming off, I think, four, uh, you know, season-ending injuries throws, N- or not his NFL, but his, his football career. He's got to stay healthy. And if he can stay healthy, he could be a top five quarterback in this draft easily, right? Not even a top five, maybe a top two. And I, I heard it before. A lot of people are saying if Michael Penix was a relatively healthy quarterback, he'd be going in the top two this year. And that is insane potential, insane value for a team like the Raiders. In this video, we're going to break down some of Michael Penix's film. We're going to look at the Raiders roster, and I'm going to show you exactly why if they draft Michael Penix, it's going to change everything for them. But before we get to the video, do me a big favor. Let me know in the comment section down below, who do you think the quarterback should be for the Raiders next season? Do you want them to take Penix? I think he's a guy that could, you know, develop under Gardner Minshew or let Aiden O'Connell start for the first eight weeks. Let me know what you guys think, but also subscribe if you're new. It's free. Doesn't cost anything to join the family and more videos out for the rest of the offseason. But let's get right into the video. Velocity, accuracy, statue. (laughs) The last one sounds like it might be a little bit of a negative, but honestly, if you could throw the ball like Michael Penix, you wouldn't run either. I, that's what I love about him. I think that he has so much confidence in his ability, and I use this term with Drake May a little bit, but it really applies to Michael. It's sustained accuracy. A lot of times it's easy to complete passes at a high clip inside 10 yards, but he is as confident throwing the ball in the 15, 20, 25 yard, and even beyond that he is throwing a hitch at five. So for me, that's what really stands out when I watch Michael play. Now, if you ask me why Michael Penix is a good fit here in Las Vegas, right? You look at Michael Penix's arm talent, his accuracy, his ability to throw the football is better than anyone else in this draft, right? We already talked about how the the injury factor is the only risk with Michael Penix. And he just ran a 4-5. He ran a 4-5, so not only can he run the ball, but he can throw like anyone else in this year's NFL draft. But the fit, to me, could be amazing. I know the Raiders really want to lock in on Jaden Daniels, and if if, if there is an ability or a shot for them to get Jaden Daniels, I think they have to take it. However, if they have to settle for a quarterback, I think it has to be Michael Penix, right? You talk about the accuracy, you talk about the athleticism. You have Devontae Adams and Jacoby Myers, two of the best wide receivers in the NFL in terms of a duo. You want those two guys. You also have Trey Tucker, who can burn down the field, a perfect guy to pair up with Michael Penix. You also have, you know, Zamir White, Alexander Madison, Michael Mayer, Harrison Bryant. They've done such a good job building up this offense, building up this team to succeed for next season, right? Defensively, they were one of the best defenses in football last year, just needed to get a quarterback, basically, or just develop, right? Now, don't get me wrong. I think Aiden O'Connell has the tools, has the skill set to be a good quarterback, but is he ready next season? I'm not sure. But at the same time, will Michael Penix be ready? I don't know. But I think adding a level of competition will just heighten the ability for both of these guys going forward. I think the overall competition, the nature of it, will make them play better, which right away is a good thing. 
Now, real quickly, I wanted to break down some Michael Penix film. Now, before we do that, let me know in the comments down below, do you believe Michael Penix is a good enough quarterback to come in and, you know, take the Raiders a far away? Or do you think they're, you know, better off just staying put with Aiden O'Connell or Gardner Minshew? But also, hit the like button. If this video gets up to 400 likes, I'm going to be posting non-stop Raiders content all the way up until the draft. And then, full coverage of the draft training camp mini camp everything you need to know about the raiders going forward so make sure you guys hit the like button subscribe if you're new join the family i will be posting these videos for the raiders all year long but with that being said let's dive into some film and right away you can see the potential of you know his arm obviously right here we see they're in his own defense we got one-on-one -on -one here on the deep side let's just throw a bomb right boom Look at this, one-on-one -on -one over the middle of the field. If we can get this in a perfect spot, unbelievable catch. But again, you have Devontae Adams who can make similar type of catches. Guys, I'm telling you, the accuracy of Michael Penix is on a different level. If he's making throws like this, I guarantee you Devontae is going to love playing here in Vegas. Now, really quickly, this is a play that really stood out to me when watching Michael Penix film. What we're going to see here is we're going to get a route that crosses over the middle, and then we're going to get a seam route by a tight end, okay? So watch how Michael uh, Penix goes through these progressions. So boom, we're going to get a snap here, drops back in the pocket. Quickly going to look off to the left, and you know when you're playing zone defenses, you can really force where the safeties go uh, just by turning your head. So boom, I mean, right, real quickly, within the first couple of seconds, he starts off by looking left, read the defense on the left side and then boom let's turn my head what are they doing on the right side boom now he has a full an or analysis on what the defense is running so boom we're gonna get this vertical threat and then we're gonna get this crosser so now we're looking at this man right here what are you going to do now he's playing catch up turns his helmet turns his head obviously right and uh, now we have that right but you have to make sure you throw this at the most perfect position where only your guy can get catch this football right so boom he waits he waits until we get these guys out of the play boom and now he throws at the perfect time under pressure as well keep that in mind he is about to get hit okay so now looking at this tight end looking at this db or linebacker whoever he is where do you think this football needs to be placed backside shoulder right this needs to be over here a little bit behind him because if you lead him it could want to hit off him hit off this dude's back he could you know if he turns around it's an interception it will, it will be really a bad throw if you throw it leading him up the field but if you throw it behind him slightly look at this throw unbelievable this is unbelievable man michael Penix accuracy um you know throwing with anticipation is unreal okay and if you thought that was an accurate throw watch this one versus oregon one of the best teams in college football last season let me turn this down let me slow it down for you as well so you can really see it so we're gonna basically get just a one-on-one -on -one fade to the the front left pylon right Penix drops back plants that back foot and throws a dart look at this great footwork and look at where this ball is placed guys for one second look at this boom oh dude you don't see this every day you do not see this every day and not only does it happen there but it happens so many times third and 18 here Penix drops back in the pocket versus usc and caleb williams boom let's avoid the pressure so one you, you know he has good pocket presence let me get out. Let me roll out to my left side. And here we go. Watch this play he makes on the run. Boom. Still getting outside of the pocket. Stops right by the sideline and throws up a ball to the left corner of the end zone and perfectly plays for a touchdown. The things that this dude is doing is unreal. And I think everyone looks at his injury history and says, you know, maybe we shouldn't take the risk here because if he does get injured, uh, you know, we just wasted a first round pick on a quarterback. And I get that. I do get that. But if he is as good as he is, Right? If, if, we, if he sees his potential while being able to stay healthy, he could be the best quarterback in this draft class. Right, You, you talk about a guy who has dual threat ability to run. He's one of the fastest quarterbacks in this draft class, but also has all the accuracy in the world that you wanted your quarterback. I mean, we saw in that interview with Pat McAfee, uh, freaking Kevin O'Connell said, listen, the number one thing you want in your quarterback is accuracy. Yeah. Michael Penix, you hear how he, how he responded to the Michael? He didn't say anything because you can't. You, I mean, I know you can't, right? But Michael Penix has the accuracy. He can make any throw you want him to make. He has great footwork, great pocket presence, as well as being able to run the football as well. I mean, watch this dude sling the ball. I mean, it is unbelievable. Look at this throw, man. Look at the throw. Unbelievable. This one is unreal as well. I remember watching this one when it happened. I was like, dude, there ain't no way you're telling me Michael Penix ain't going to be one of the best quarterbacks in this draft class. And, you know, he is going up the draft board a little bit, but still going to be like the fourth or the, the fifth guy taken. Dude, making throws like this, if he can stay healthy, he's going to be a difference maker. 
And also, when you look at Michael Penix as a player, man, he adds so much different tools and traits that you just want in a quarterback, right? He has, you know, great hands, right? He doesn't really fumble the football too much because he has, you know, just powerful hands, right? Uh, but he also sees pressure. He knows how to adjust the running back in, in, in the blitz coverages. I feel like he does that very, very well. Keeps himself protected in the pocket, which obviously is going to be his biggest concern. Um, you know, he slides from pressure resets the offense really really well you know when there's edge rusher or edge rushers coming we know the raiders o-line maybe isn't up to par yet but does a really good job good job resetting his platform setting his feet and still finding guy open even after you know getting out of a difficult situation you know the flick of the wrist man the, the man can throw the football like anybody else 50 yards 60 yards no effort at all he's fearless he wants to attack and he wants football games right um he was sacked just 31 times over 1700 career dropbacks guys think about it 31 sacks over 1700 snaps i mean or uh, not at snaps but dropbacks that is literally insane um you know he can make perfect drive throws velocity is good i mean the man can do everything you want a quarterback the season ending injuries are probably the biggest thing um, that you should be nervous about. But if he's healthy, if he stays healthy, this man has every ability in the world to take over the quarterback position. And if the Raiders can get him at, you know, 13, 12, 11, if they want to move up a little bit for him, they can. If they want to, you know, trade back, I think they might be able to do that as well. I think a lot of teams are going to be, uh, you know, a little bit nervous, scared about taking, a, you know, an injury risk quarterback. But if the Raiders can get him, I think he is the absolute perfect fit. When you look at the Raiders offense last season, they ranked, you know, number 25 in completion percentage, number 29 in interception percentage, 23 in pass yards per game, uh, 16 in QB sack percentage. Obviously, the offense passing wise needed to get better just as much as the, uh, you know, running game. But I think Michael Penix is a guy that can come in, doesn't have to be a day one starter, but can also add you insane potential at the position and maybe even be a future superstar but there's also the big risk about taking him let me know what you guys think what would you guys do but the raiders had such a good defense last year if they can just find a quarterback man that could change everything for them going forward hit the like button subscribe if you're new join the family and i'll see you guys in the next raiders update peace